Hi guys, welcome to another vlog, another museum trip. I'm here at uh, Ratu, near this church right here. Yep. There's this church right here. I, I figured this would be the best place to start since there's not a lot of noise. When, when I got to, from the subway there was a lot of noise so I'm just gonna record here. So uh, today is another museum trip, of course, like I was saying. Today I plan to go to Casa Fernando Pessoa and uh, then I'm also be, be going to Aqueduto das Águas Livres, which is one of the three cores of Museu da Água. And then, uh, speaking of Museu da Água, I'm, I'm also probably gonna go to the to another core, another the main uh, the main core of the Museum of Water. Um, which I don't know if you have to to mark it actually. I I heard online that you I saw actually online that you have to to book in advance. I don't know if it is like that. Then I'm gonna have to go on another day. Uh, speaking of that, Casa Fernando Pessoa, you also need to book it. So I had to book it for today, for the 10 a.m. They did not. They uh, they did not uh, respond to the 10 a.m. email because I didn't. I had not sent the 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 hour. They wanted the hour as well, but oh well. Uh, let's go here because of the exposure. Uh, but uh, yeah, you have to you have to book it in uh, in uh, prior to going there because of the current pandemic. As you can see there, there's the the hospital. <laughs> Yeah, there's the, the Netherlands here, how fitting. Uh, because of the current pandemic, unfortunately, you have to, to book it. And you can always stay in each of the floors, which I believe are three or four, I don't remember now. You can only remain on each floor 30 minutes and uh, you have a maximum of one hour and 30 minutes that you can stay in the museum. So there's that. So I, I might not take that long. And uh, I actually forgot. I'm actually gonna go to Jardim the Plaza Piment as well. I'm gonna go there and finish that, that museum up. I believe, I don't know, I think it's actually the Jardim Bordal Pinheiro. I think it belongs to Jardim Bordal Pinheiro, but, seen, but it's in the uh, Palacio Pimenta. So yeah, since uh, I'm in the yellow line of, of the subway, I, I'm just, I can just go to Campo Grande and then I'll finish that museum up. And uh, I also, I also um, was thinking about going to Museu do Dinheiro, Money Museum, but I might leave that for tomorrow because I, I also need to to go to um, Museu do Oriente tomorrow and hopefully finish the museum up. I'm also going to go to Santo Antonio today to take another photograph because you know how much I love photographs, right? Uh, so yeah, guys, that's it. Now I'm going to hurry up because it's almost 10 a.m. and I don't want to be late for the party. So yeah, guys, I'll talk to you again when I'm uh, at the entrance of Casa Fernando all right? So see you guys then. Three floors, and uh, yeah, you have the building right here. Well, there's the door. Here's the, um, the little stand, I guess. And uh, yeah, it, it looks very similar to, um, to Casa de Bich, just a mark. And uh, yeah, oh, actually, I, I believe this is the interest, actually. Yeah, I think this is the, the real interest right there, as you can see. Yep, Casa Fernando Pessoa. So, like I was saying, you have to, to book in advance to go here, uh, reserve a ticket because of the pandemic, and you can only stay 30 minutes in each floor. Now, I don't know uh, what to expect. I don't know if it's that big or not. If it's like uh, Casa dos Bicos, then uh, it's gonna be, be most, mostly have the books and stuff from his life. So yeah, uh, Fernando Pessoa was a very popular Portuguese writer. He's very well known here in Portugal, as well as, as, well as around the world, I think. Uh, he's very, very popular. And uh, in here in school, we, we actually learn a lot from him and uh, study his works and stuff so yeah guys that, that's it uh, it's uh, a little it's almost 10 a.m now and uh, i'm just gonna wait and uh, see what what what's in store okay so yeah i'm pretty sure you can take photos so i don't think there's a problem with that so expect a photo star show most likely if 
but just be sure that if, if there's no photo slideshow then it's because I can take photos but I'm, I'm pretty sure you can take photos just because of the restrictions that I don't think they're going to limit you to take photos so yeah you just have to hurry up really and uh, yeah I might actually take the time actually I was thinking about going to pop and play because it's very it's very close to 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 this place actually it's just around the the, the a corner just a, just a few a few like five no, not even five minutes from here on foot so I might go to pop and play as well and then I'll go to a Cadu das Águas Livres all right and then um, Jardim Bordal Pinheiro or uh, Palácio Pimenta and uh, then uh, I'm, I'm gonna do uh, the the water museum all right people so yeah I'm now gonna enter the the museum so stay tuned for the vlog guys Alright guys, so I just finished uh, Casa Fernando Pessoa, overall pretty nice, it's a pretty nice place to visit and uh, yeah, I just finished the, the museum, I really like the, the first floor actually, I started from the third floor because unfortunately I had some problems with, uh, 
with the lockers because you you need to to put the, your bags on the locker they're very restricted in that regard which I kind of uh, understand because it's uh, an, an important house and stuff like that so yeah they they they, they want to uh, also um, they, they want to take um, advantage of the pandemic situation and uh, have uh, all the, the security things checked and stuff like that. Uh, but unfortunately, like I was saying, I had some problems with the lockers. So uh, I had to waste a lot of time with the lockers. I didn't have, I, I didn't have the one euro in, in coin, but the staff woman uh, gave me uh, one of those fake coins. I inserted it, but it kept, it kept on not. It didn't want to 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 come out. Then I tried another one. It also made, it also uh, didn't want to come out. I couldn't lock it. So what did I do? Well, I, I had to go with the bag, I guess. I, I, I went I went with the bag and just left the bag in there in the rooms. It also helped that there were not a lot of people there. Actually, there was not there wasn't anyone. Uh, only when I was about to finish the, the, the first floor was when people started to go, when, when there were three people there. But overall, there were, there were no people there, so that was nice because I got to finish it, the museum very quickly, which is always nice. Um, so yeah, now uh, I'm gonna go to Pop and Play, just a little bit, it's, tw uh, it's uh, 12. So now I'm gonna go to Pop and Play, which is um, close to here. And then I'm gonna go to Akhtuta Zakos Livsh. If you guys want to check Casa de Front Pessoa, you can uh, go by by foot from the the hot station in Subway. It's free until the end of April, so if you guys want to check it out, you know, you know. And uh, yeah, overall pretty nice. And if you want to know more about uh, the museum itself, you can search online as well. And uh, yeah, that was Casa de Front Pessoa, guys. Really great Portuguese writer, and uh, yeah, now I'm gonna continue my vlog, my journey. So yeah, guys, I'll talk to you again soon when I'm at uh, Akudu to the Zagos Leaves. All right, see you guys then. All right, guys, here we are. Here's Akudu to Akudu to main the Zagos Leaves. Here it is. There's the, the interest there. We have some paintings here in the little garden as well. Uh, now, I don't know what to expect. Um, I thought that it, it was free this month, so I think it's free. If it's not free, I won't be going, but I believe it's free. Uh, now, I haven't been here, actually, never. So uh, I don't know where, the, where, the, where the, the part of the museum is. I'm, I'm guessing this is a big garden yeah it's a big garden and the, the, it must be one of the the buildings here i don't know you have this uh, this garden right here this big garden and uh, i think i think it's uh, that way actually i think it's i think it's that way i don't know we'll find out guys I want to hurry up, I don't know how big this is, of course the Ektut is huge, but the museum itself, oh I see it there, Mzodag, okay, so uh, we're going in the, the right direction, alright, so yeah, this is the interest, I guess, there's also a, 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 an, awesome, uh, an awesome thing going on now, they have uh, sort of an exhibition, uh, which uses uh, TV screens or something like that, projectors, pretty nice, but that one you have to pay, I'm pretty sure, you. it's not free, I don't think it's included, but uh, yeah, here we go, Museo da Agua, wait, there, Museo da Agua, there you go, uh, I believe it's, it's this, it's, it, this is what I'm talking about, uh, as you can see, uh, pretty nice uh, show, spectacular, uh, so yeah guys, now uh, I'm gonna enter and uh, we'll see what this is all about, alright? So yeah, I'll talk to you again when I return.
and I'm back. Guess what I am, guys? I am uh, well over the um, the Kudutu. So uh, I just climbed up these stairs right here. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you climb up those stairs, you go up those stairs, and then you can uh, get here. As you can see, there's nothing here, but you know. You have this beautiful view though, I guess, <laughs> as you can see, you can you can see a uh, whole uh, Lisbon and the hot wedding from here. Now, I talked with the security, uh, but and apparently the, the main core of the museum, the main part of the museum is closed. I don't know why it's closed, I don't know if they're, uh, if they're making uh, constructions there. But apparently it's closed, which means that I can no longer go there. But I can I can go to um, the other Kudutu, which is um, close to Amoreiras, which by the way is right there. By the way, uh, that that's um, that's the Amoreiras shopping center. Um, I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll. Uh, if I'll go now, though, I'm getting pretty angry already. I haven't, I haven't eaten anything yet, so I, I might go home and then return. I don't know. I still need to do Jardim do Palácio Pimenta, Jardim Palácio Pimenta as well. I still need to do the garden there, but that one is. I think I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take much time there. I don't think. But uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, this is pretty much uh, Kudutu in the Zagos Beach. There's also another area um, uh, downstairs, of course, but uh, I probably should not record there because it's inside the, the monument. So yeah, uh, that's it, guys. Pretty much. Yeah, you have uh, this view right here, this beautiful view. You can go upstairs and stuff. I'm 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 guessing the other one is just like this, which if it is then I don't I don't see much of a point to go there. We'll see. I don't know if I'll go there actually. I'm not really feeling it. Like I said, I'm getting pretty hungry and uh, I don't wanna get home very late because I still need I still have some videos to make. I might go tomorrow actually. I think I'm gonna go there tomorrow, actually not today. So uh, I think I'm now gonna um, just just take some more photographs of the um, of the city here and then I'm gonna go to um, Camp Grande to finish the garden of Palacio Pimenta and then I'll go to um, Santa Polonia uh, or Terra do Pass we, 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 the one which uh, is closest to the Santa Tony Museum and take myself another photograph then I'll head home and uh, make the videos that are, that are missing because I still have some videos to, to do and uh, I really want to come up with new videos every day now. I don't know if I'll be able to though, because I still have someone, some videos to make. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, I think I'm gonna do that. And tomorrow I'll go to uh, the other, uh, the other Akudutu, I guess. And uh, also the Money Museum as well, which is not that far from there, from, uh, from uh, that place, probably, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it. So uh, yeah, that was pretty much a good many dagger slips. Not much to see, but oh well. The main, the main, the main uh, museum of of water is closed apparently. I, I I just hate that when I search these things, they don't show that it's closed. So yeah, I didn't know it was closed, but oh well. That's it, guys. All right. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna put it into this part of the vlog. Take my more photographs, and I'll and I'll talk to you again when I'm at Camp Grande for the gardens, okay? So, see you guys there. Okay guys, we're here. We're at Camp Grande. I'm already here at the entrance of the Museu de Lisboa, as you can see. Palacio Pimenta, one of the five cores of the Museu de Lisboa. I've already done all the other ones. Unfortunately, Turquion is closed, so I can't do that one. I'm just here to do the, the little garden that's missing which I still have not covered which is Jardim Bordal Pinheiro it's a little garden with some statues pretty pretty nice from what I from what I saw 
uh, back when I was here uh, doing uh, Pavilion Branco. So yeah guys, without any further ado, I'll go inside, okay, and quickly hurry up. Not take much time because I want to go home and eat. I'm really, I really need to, to properly eat today because I'm not really... I, haven't, I have eaten like crap these past days and I, I really need to start eating good again. Otherwise, I'm gonna get really tired with this. And I also have more videos to make as well, so yeah. Uh, then I'm gonna go to St. Antonio, I'm gonna go to Sioux by, by train and I'll go get another picture and then I'll call it a day, alright guys? So, I'll see you in a little bit, let's, not, let's hope a little bit, okay, uh, at uh, St. Antonio, alright? With the picture, alright, so see you guys there, stay tuned for the vlog. guys I wasn't supposed to make a video inside of the museum but I really need to show you this because photos don't make it justice so I'm here at uh, Jardim Bordal Pinheiro this garden is oh man it's so amazing this garden I'm gonna make a, a quick video tour just so you guys see how beautiful this place really is it's filled with roses and um, statues and stuff it's so so awesome uh, so you have uh, this wall right here which has some plates there as well you also have this bee as you can see right here yep this bee there's a lot of cool stuff here and uh, some hidden stuff as well this almost feels like a safari zone and you you're fighting pokemon try to find pokemon and be like yeah you have this uh, bee right here then you also have some uh, some uh, lizards climbing uh, wooden logs and stuff. You also have uh, here in the in the, the, the trees you have uh, monkeys and stuff hanging there. You have a snail here as well. I hope this is catching it. And uh, yeah, I mean so awesome this place it's already past 3 p 3 p.m that's how long i took here i took more than an hour here already uh so yeah then you have here uh, this part right here as well you have uh, these two fish statues right there you also here have another another snail as well 
And guys, look at this. This is awesome. This is one of the best parts, probably the best part. Just look at this. I hope the camera is catching it, but yeah, pretty amazing. Look at all this. Look at that. Lobsters, crabs, fish, snakes. I mean, it's just awesome. This 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 garden is so so awesome. Okay, you have here some more plates as well here in the in the wall. This one, for example, has a lobster. Very awesome. This very awesome garden. Right here, you have. Um, a dog as well right there there's a dog as well oh by the way this is a project from uh, a woman named Joana Vasconcelos right there Joana Vasconcelos uh, it's her project I don't know if, if the statues um, are made by her or not but this this uh, uh, is, is her project so yeah you also have this lizard right here, calling Spider-Man be like. <laughs> okay, then you have some more uh, trees and uh, brushes and uh, uh, bushes, should I say, here. Roses. Oh, by the way, there's a hidden cat there as well. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, here you have some, uh, what looks like to be seaweed, I don't know. And uh, yeah, some more uh, uh, grass here. There's another, there's another cat there as well. Black cat. <laughs> Black cat be like calling Spider-Man. Another, another painting here. Here's a painting as well. Here you have a kind of an, um, a tunnel kind of area behind this uh, this big tree so yeah guys pretty pretty awesome uh, garden actually pretty pretty awesome I had seen some photos already but man this uh, being here in person just really makes it so much better there you have a snake as well and there's a peacock there <laughs> as well there's a snail right there as well top of the wall and uh, yeah guys I mean it's pretty nice pretty awesome garden here you have what I was talking about the mini tunnel like area see it makes this uh, mini tunnel like area it's pretty cool oh I actually forgot about I look there look at this uh, huge tree look at that tree and there's a there's a lizard there which i missed actually I, di I didn't even notice that lizard that's just how how much you can stuff you can miss here there's a lot of stuff here and i actually missed that one and the other cat as well i'm gonna just quickly take some photos of that uh here you have uh, another another dog as well this time fighting um um i'm I don't remember, I don't know the name of this in, in English, sorry, but I'm gonna post it here in the video. So, yeah, fighting right there. Here's a peacock as well, guarding the fountain. Hello, peacock, hello. Uh, he doesn't want anything to do with us, guys. And here you have another fountain as well. I hope the camera catches it. You have uh, lots of frogs here, as you can see, and some flowers as well, more seaweed, fountain, and yeah guys, that's pretty much the, the garden. Then right there you also have some more uh, plates as well, well I can go there, why not? And uh, some more roses here as well, here's the peacock. Wild peacock, there's another one right there, resting. And uh, yeah, there's some more stuff here as well. Highly recommend you guys come here, okay? If you live uh, near Camp Grande, or if you just want to, to know more about uh, 
about Lisbon, I guess. <laughs> Please come here because this place is awesome. Here you have another another uh, drawing as well with some frogs. There's another lizard right there as well. And then there's some more two more snakes there. And uh, another plate right here as well. Right there on the plate. And uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much the the garden which was missing from my coverage. So that's pretty much done. It's already past 3 p.m. <laughs> I took a lot of time here, like I said, but it was definitely worth it. Oh man, I'm so, I'm so love in love with this. I recommend you guys come here. Don't forget that it's free till the the end of uh, of the month. So yeah, guys. Then right there you also uh, have the pav pavilion branch as well. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. That was uh, a video, a video tour, I guess, through Jardim de Porto Pinheiro. Hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a peacock right there. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, stay tuned because I still need to go to uh, Museu Santo Antonio. I'm gonna pick up the train now, and then uh, I'll go take a, another photograph, and then I'll, I'll put it into the vlog. All right. So. Catch you guys in a bit. Okie dokie guys, and I'm back. Okay, I just uh, took the photo. Here it is. There he is on Holy Omega. The guy who is bringing you all these vlogs. Uh, yeah, uh, we actually had, uh, I actually had a problem there. The machine was not printing. I, I had, the, they had to call um, uh, the the expertise I guess <laughs> and she helped me to take the photograph she had to to open the machine and reconnect it and stuff because things were not working properly but fortunately uh, she helped me and uh, yeah I got myself another photo again with this framing right there I'm probably gonna take another one next week I'll come back here again next week probably most definitely to take another photograph to put in the album and uh, yeah guys that's it uh, that was the vlog for today now I'm gonna go to Terlo Pass and pick up the um, the bus or whatever uh, I pick up I end up picking to go home and uh, go eat because uh, I really am st uh, kind of starving and uh, I need to go eat and I also want to, to go finish the videos so yeah guys uh, that was pretty much it that was pretty much the vlog for today Three more, three more museums, I guess. Uh, not really um, that, uh, um, how can I say? Uh, it, the types of museums I went to today, uh, mostly just one true museum. This one right here was just to take the photograph and then I had, you, you had the Ekdutu and the, the, the little garden. Uh, but overall, it was a pretty nice day, I guess. And now I'm gonna head home, okay? Like I was saying, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today sorry for some random minutes here and there also sorry for the the camera shake and stuff i don't have a gimbal sorry about that or rather i do but not for the for the smartphone so yeah if you guys enjoy my my, my content and want to see more don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also stay up to date on my social media because i'll be posting the photos soon okay the vlogs you can find the vlogs for the this museum and, and the, all the other museums so far on the channel, all right? Tomorrow I'm gonna go finish, hopefully finish Museu do Oriente and I'm also gonna go to Museu do Dinheiro, aka Money, Money Museum. So yeah guys, I'll see, you, I'll see you again tomorrow, okay? Stay safe out there and that's all for today. And Holomega signing out, have a good one. Peace.